Hello, welcome. This is EWS 301, Chinese Ethnic Identity. So if you're here for that class, you're in the right place. I'm Professor Jenny Bong, and I teach at California Polytechnic University. Uh, I'm actually an anthropologist, so if you all can now uh, take a few seconds and take a sheet of paper out, I will ask you questions, and I'd also throughout this lecture, I would like you to take notes. Now the first question I want to ask you is, what percentage of the world is Chinese? So in a normal classroom, I would ask people to raise their hand, but you're going to write it down, what percentage you think. Often students will say 10%, 1%, uh, or, or 80%, right? But actually, the percentage of Chinese people around the world is over 22%. So if you can imagine, I have five fingers. One, if that was the globe, if that was the world population, one in five people on Earth are Chinese. Um, China right now holds 1.3 billion people. So if you're in America right now watching this, same size as America in the United States, and you have uh, 300 million in America, but we have around an extra 1 billion <laughs> in China. So a large population and a large diasporic population. So the first slide, if you take a look at my slide, that we're going to hear, we're going to focus on Chinese American identity, but we're also going to look at diasporic identity and also Chinese Vietnamese identity. So the first slide is Chinese America is part of the greater Chinese diaspora. And when I mean diaspora, I mean one group from a home country that spreads all over the world. So other famous diasporas are Jewish diaspora, Indian diaspora, let's say German diaspora. So a home group of ethnic group that spreads all over the world. Currently, there are 35 million Chinese who live outside of China. These people are called overseas Chinese, or as the books, as Min Zhao talks about, she calls them the Hua Q and Pinyin. There's actually, if anyone studies China, there's over 2,000 languages, over 200 ethnicities, and so that's a, a good roundabout number, 35 million. So again, we have a lot of probably undocumented Chinese around the world and as well as in the United States, but documented around 35 million. So I asked you the first question, what percentage of the world is Chinese? So right now, write down that over 20% of the world is Chinese. So if you have five people globally, one of the people is probably speaking Mandarin. Now, if you take a look at my next slide, it's a quite fascinating. There's, really, there's really only 170 countries, but Chinese are actually in 150 countries. That is astounding. It's one of the largest diasporas around the world. Uh, in over 80% of Asia, there are Chinese. So let's look in particular. Indonesia. We have 7.3 million Chinese in Indonesia. In Thailand, we have 6.4 million. In Malaysia, we have 5.5 million. And in Singapore, we have 2.3 million. So in your notes, I would like you to write down how many million Chinese are in America. So if you have a book in front of you, I'd like you to find that. What, how many million Chinese are in America? So my next slide, if you take a look, is called the Global Ch Chinese Diaspora. Take a look. Chinese people are pretty much everywhere. Uh, if you look in Taiwan, we have 23 million. That is quite large. Hong Kong, we have 8 million. Thailand, you have 7 million. Malaysia, 7 million. United States, and right, that was my question. So everyone write it down right now. 6,324,000. So that's an astounding number, right? Astounding. Singapore, which is, doesn't have actually a, a huge uh, population in comparison to the United States, is at 3 million for Chinese. Canada, almost 3 million. Vietnam, 1.3 million. Philippines, 1.3. Australia, 669,000. Japan, 665. Russia, 500,000. And the United Kingdom, 400,000. So as you can see, Chinese people are everywhere, all over the globe, all over Asia, all over Africa, all over the world, in over 150 countries. So fascinating. Also, they're, of course, in our class, they're in America. 
Now, if you look at the population of world population countries at the beginning of sustained rapid development, so if you look at my first column, it's country. It looks at the countries that it is uh, identifying. The second is the year. And the third column is the percentage of the world population. So it's pretty interesting. The population of the world that these countries take up. Again, you don't have to know this uh, uh, for the test or anything, but it's pretty interesting to know. Now, National Geographic came out with a report, and the report was the most typical man on Earth. Now, we talked about how one in five people on Earth now are Chinese, so the National Geographic asks, who is the most typical man in the, on Earth? So now I would like to take a break, and I'd like you to go to the, this website, and I'd like you to play it. And I'm going to play for you now.